hey guys, just going to show you uh, my latest project that I'm going to be starting here. Um, it's going to be an Athern uh, kit bashed Southern Pacific rotary snow plow, uh, the modernized version with the F7 snail unit. Um, got here a couple uh, Athern rotary snow plows, uh, parts, and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, basically, I'll be kit bashing the whole thing and uh, super detailing and we work on the motor and all that uh, power pickups and all that good stuff um, but uh, yeah right here um, is what I have I got a bunch of parts and stuff, spare parts, windows uh, trucks, wheels uh, here I got an old Atherin blue box one with the road ran power um, Got a newer ready to roll one with the DC board and everything. That'll have to be reworked eventually once I shorten this thing up. Um, and then I have the tender that has the power pickups, which these power pickups will have to be on the F7B unit once that comes in. Um, and then I got the two shells that I'll be working with um, to get them kit bashed together. Um, this is what it needs to look like. So, uh, this is really long for what it needs, so as you can see I got them marked out. Uh, I have to move that door to the back, um, and then cut the, uh, the middle piece out, and then shorten it up and do a whole bunch of other rework in on the roof and everything. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, that's what I got, so... I'm going to go ahead and start sanding stuff down, getting everything ready, and then uh, rework this and get everything measured out, and then I'll show you some more. Uh, it's now silky smooth, with the exception of the indents on the doors. Um, I got it chopped up, or uh, marked up to be chopped up, and then uh, I put some styrene in there and cover up all the windows and redrill the windows to the correct positions. Um, and all that good stuff. Um, now for the drive system, I told you I had to shorten it up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. You can see how much shorter it is now. Um, this one's what it used to look like, and that one's what it looks like now. Um, chopped a good two inches off. I moved the DC board up on top of the drive motor. Um, got the wire pickup right here that goes down to this truck then I got this extra wire pickup right there that needs to go up to the front truck up here and those will be the two pickups on the track um, but this thing was a little off balance since it used to be really long and kinda leveled out um, the front is really heavy now and then I uh, added some weights on the back to, you know, balance it out a little bit, and that'll also keep it on the tracks when it's being pushed since it doesn't actually have a motor that drives it, and it'll be in front of the engines. It'll, uh, it'll make it real nice when it's uh, pulling on the or being pushed up the hills and over switches and whatnot. But, um, as for underneath, um, you can see I got the two pickups that'll go with it. Um, this one runs from the screw. Uh, through the screw and then into the pickup you saw earlier and this one will be uh, run from the line so the line will come from this one to that and then this one will go from the screw and then that will give it the power um, I am planning on putting a light on here how I'm doing that I'm not sure yet um, but that will be in here eventually too, uh, on the front, as the SP had on there. So we'll have operating light, and it will be operating rotary plow. Like I said before, I had to chop up the shell to uh, make it fit and make it correct uh, for the prototype. So that's what I did. I marked out the spots um, and then cut them. 
and also sanded down all the grab irons and rivets and everything off um, because the SPs didn't have any of that stuff on it they were very smooth um, all they have on there is uh, doors and uh, toolbox doors and s stuff like that um, but you can see that's what it started out as right here and then I cut it three times this piece is no good not using it just gets taken out and then the end piece will get moved up here and then this piece will be moved right there and then this door, all these windows, these three, four windows here, and this door will be covered up uh, with the plastic mold, and then I re-drill the holes for the windows to be in the correct position. So, um, I've also uh, squared out this window. That's these are the only square windows on the uh, whole model. Uh, so that's that. I also have to take the end piece off of this so I can fit it on there. And then, uh, that's it. So let's put it on the model real fast and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so there you go. That's about how it will look once it's done short like that. Now just to start adding uh, some detail parts to the underframe. And then uh, work on the motor a little more and work on the body, getting the body back together and sanded and then it'll be off to paint. So uh, basically I got the whole shell together, got the windows uh, uh, masked off I guess you could say. Um, now it's ready for putty so I can put some putty on it and sand it again. And then I'll start adding the details to the body but uh... let me see it rolls uh... fairly good so it's nice uh... it's pretty heavy so it won't derail it's very good um, but now all it's left to do is just add details uh... to the underframe uh... putty and detail of the body and uh, that's it so for that I have uh, the back piece you can see here it's, tape, or it's uh, got a piece of styrene that I fit onto the back of it uh, that'll get a walkway door and then a step on top as well as a few other small little details emmy hoses all that good stuff uh, eventually um, and then when the FB or the F7B unit comes, it'll connect in so you can walk from here to the F7 and etc. Um, like the passenger cars have and whatnot. But that's that. Uh, I'll go ahead and start putting and show you that when it's done.